Hey guys, it's Battalion Clash Gaming. I'm here to showcase to you guys videos, the guidance for our clan, it's like how we upgrade our uh, bases. Coming from Tunnel 7 to Tunnel 8 is a big step because now you actually need to defend on your base. Um, I tell my guys from Tunnel 3 to Tunnel 7, you can rush your base as long as your offense is maxed out. And what I'm talking about offense maxed out is that your king spells every single troop that you have even the goblins needs to be maxed out all four barracks needs to be maxed out coming from tunnel 7 and tunnel uh, basically from tunnel 7 this is a max tunnel 7 base before uh, last night I made, I made tunnel 8 and now we start off is like a priority of upgrades the very first thing that you would upgrade is your clan castle the reason why you upgrade your clan castle first is because it adds troops to your uh, arsenal and also arts uh, additional spell and a spell is more important because of the dragons the dragons needs rage but in tunnel 7 I don't really use it most often and I use uh, lightning now I'm trying to mix up the two because I'm using a split uh, balloon attack I used to just have like 10 dragons and then I have a balloon in the CC now uh, since tunnel 7 is getting harder and tunnel 8 is getting harder so I'm trying to uh, get used to the split balloon attack and I'm going to show you guys, maybe in a different video, how to do that. But right now, I just want to show you guys the upgrade. Uh, prioritizing the upgrade when you uh, get into Town Hall. And also, I want to get uh, show I want to show you guys, it's like uh, how to build a, a base for Tunnel 7 and Tunnel 8. So back to the priorities. Your Clan Castle will be your first priority. And the second priority is to get your Dark Spell Factory going. You need to what, have one villager to make sure that he upgrades from 1 to level 2. That's his only job, is to upgrade that. Your third priority is your uh, laboratory. The laboratory is your... Um, it's where you get your troops and your spell, basically. So, that's the reason why you need to get it upgraded. Because at Tunnel 8, you need to get your dragons to level 3. I mean... The air defense for the Tunnel 8 is really more potent, it's like level 6 is somehow it's like a big step. The the level 2 dragons are not doing uh, a good job of uh, lasting longer. And you need a level 3 dragon on this one. And you need the lightning spell of level 5. So you can you it, you, you, you will have more room to miss. And having a clan castle, so you have a clan castle with extra spell, you can request a Earthquake spell, and you can use your two lightnings uh, prior to that. As long as your earthquake is uh, max to level four, you can use a level four lightning spell, and you can target a level six air defense. So you you zoom in, you hit that in the middle twice, and you try to damage the buildings around it too. So if you drop it somewhere between here, this two, so this buildings right here will get damaged. So that's how you drop the earthquake spell. And then now you have an extra rage spell. And the rage spell is more as important with the dragons and the balloons. But I prefer more the balloons because the balloons would actually move faster and getting all the defenses. So wherever the closest defense, air defense, that you can get the balloons, that's where you should get uh, drop the balloons and rage. Not necessarily do you have to funnel and get the balloons in the middle. You don't really need to do that. What you need to do is like for the, for example, like this one right here, from the cannon to the air defense, it's only one step. And I'm going to explain a little bit later, making a war base of what I'm talking about between a one step, a two step, and a three step uh, before you get to the air defense. Now, the third thing that you need to uh, pull out is all your traps. All your traps need to be pulled out when you're uh, upgrading. Um, you need to skeletons, the bombs, air bombs, and all that. And then the last thing that you want is your Tesla. Because you want to pull everything out. I even pulled the walls out. I didn't really need to, but I did. So this ones right here are the extra like defense that you're gonna have against dragon attack. And they're really important, especially the black air mine and uh, also the air bomb the red air bombs. Uh, you get two of this extra and I forgot where the other one is. Level one, but yeah. The Tesla is your last one uh to pull out because the Villager would take time to, I mean, the builders 
the builder will take time to upgrade this thing and the this one builder his main job is to upgrade every single one of these traps and that's what you want it to do is keep them upgraded till they're max for tunnel 8 you need to get this to level 3 all your bombs so not only that he's going to upgrade all these new uh, to catch up with a level uh, with a higher level and you're going to need to upgrade the rest of them so one villager all the traps that's how he's going to upgrade and then your next upgrade is your dark uh the dark barracks this one right here getting a level one valkyrie is really good for tunnel eight attacking against uh new tunnel eight or even max tunnel eight you can uh pretty much uh, destroy any base that's right for the valkyries and just use really open bases like this one right here is basically an open base and there's not much walls for the valkyrie to go through and it has a weak walls uh valkyries love weak walls because they just go through it as long as you have a three heal spell they would last pretty long and you have to be smart of where you put them and lastly what you need to upgrade is your uh... so I covered the uh, yep the intense laboratory dark barracks laboratory yep I mean, I mean that's that's your first five that you needed to upgrade and then of course coming from tunnel six to tunnel seven is your army camp you upgrade the army camp uh, rather than uh, getting the uh, oh wait you don't have the clan castle to upgrade so yes uh, for tunnel 7 you get the army camp the spell factory and the laboratory those three are your main priorities and getting the tesla and all the traps and all that so and your third air defense I think but those are your first thing that you needed to upgrade and then once all the traps are upgraded, you don't pull all your uh, all your other defenses until all your traps are upgraded. So once all your traps are upgraded, you can start pulling this one at a time by starting with the archer tower because that's the less uh, war weight. And then the next thing you're gonna upgrade is your whiz tower because that's the one that can actually attack the dragon. And the mortar and the bomb tower are basically useless. They're basically just another trash building against a, dra a dragon attack. And the bomb tower, I don't really pull them until all your uh, defenses are max to tunnel 8. And this is the last thing that you pull because it has a lot of war weight. And this thing right here actually has a war weight surpasses the expo. According to the Reddit uh, website that... Uh, that I watched a long time ago with uh, Ashley Clash and I checked it out and then believe it or not there's like the bomb tower actually weighs a lot so getting one of them would actually get it to a uh, will get your base war weight like increase dramatically now I'm gonna talk about building a war base and I'm gonna show you guys this war base I don't really care And this is where I'm at right now. So, building a war base is like, as you can see, I still have uh, buildings uh, I need to fill out, but I prepared uh, the reason, that's this also the reason why I pulled the walls, but I prepared the walls to fill up the new defenses that I'm going to be putting on there. And building a war base, the most important thing is you have the clan castle in the middle, and you always wanted that, and the air defense protecting each other. As much as they can they can have like a, a little bit past to one another but you need most of them to be two of them to be protecting one another and then one of them could be straight off to somewhere but you need the air sweeper as much as you can to be facing two air defenses at least so he he, he would be forced to attack this side right here and if he does if he uses a lightning he would strike this one right here you would have two air defenses and you got the archer towers right here protected by the storages and then you got all these traps he's probably gonna run out of time because the dragon is not gonna be enough and I had the FC on this and the guy struggled on this base but I told him it's like the weak side of this base and I showed it to him and he was able to three star it uh, without a problem but this one right here is perfect because it protects it's protected by the storages and it's protected by the air defense and you want the Tesla to be like close to each other as much as possible they usually call this a Tesla farm and this Tesla farm really potent against dragons 
Hog Riders, and Valkyries, especially when they're max level to uh, get the tunnel that you're in. Level 6 is really, really uh, potent, and it'll pretty much kill a dragon like in 10 seconds if all three of them are together, or even faster. So I set up the traps over there to protect not only the air de defenses and the Teslas. And the Teslas are good because not only they uh, they protect the town hall, you don't really need to protect the town hall, but you protect that because uh, they protect the def the air defenses. That's what they're, they're for. And the reason why I have that in there in between this, so it takes time for the dragons to actually get through them. And you put the trash buildings around this uh, high HP buildings. And the dragon will take their time to actually get uh, to get to the air defenses. And if they use in a balloon, and this is the one I'm talking about earlier, the one step, two, uh, two steps, is you always want to have like more than two step, two to three at the, at the best, because you don't want the balloons to be like one shotting and going towards the air defense like right away. You want to be the, uh, you want the dragon to spend time on this. And then, you know, before they can one step to the air defense, uh, one one or two of their dragons are already gone for the trash and the air, and the air defense and your clan castle. So if you get attacked with a balloon attack and using a rage, the the balloons will go this way, this way, this way, or this way, this way, and then this way before it even comes out. He he gets to the air defenses and the same thing right here. If they put the balloons uh, this way right here, it will path towards this three, or if they put the uh, this way right here, it would path it, it would. He attacked this before from this side, and he passed the balloons path this way. He went away with the air defense, and he didn't go. He didn't go where it's supposed to go. And if you attack this side right here, it's the same thing. You can have the uh, balloons go this way, and he will like try to go around. So the guy has to take his time, like what he was doing before he was dropping his balloons. And by the time his balloons get here, the, some of the dragons were already dead. And by the time he gets here, since he's using a rage heal spell. Um, there wasn't enough uh, dragons to uh, take out this uh, air defense and this Tesla farm right here, and you only he only get a one star. The most important thing that you need to protect is your uh, clan castle. You don't use the town. You don't protect the town hall. The town hall is just another building, but it's your more most high HP building uh, compared to anything else. And you really want that uh, high HP building to protect one or two air defenses. But in this case right here, I am protecting two, and the Tesla is protecting the two air defenses. And then this one right here is basically protecting uh, this side right here. I put all the buildings right here, so when I got to get attacked on this side right here, you can the all these gaps are meant for the dragons to go around. He attacked it on this side right here, and he ended up like going around. And he attacked it again right here, and that's when he actually three-starred the base. Um... Okay, now uh, trying to defend against uh, hog attack. Um, building the base to hog attack is actually uh, is really hard because a tunnel seven is pretty much non-existent to defend against a hog attack. But a tunnel eight, it's possible because of the spring traps are uh, you can place more spring tra spring traps. So you want the spring trap to be uh, placed in the right spot. So for example, like right here. Um, if he attack this way to get the king, because your goal as uh, attacking a hog is to kill the king and the clan castle, those are your two main thing. But of course, you very your very first priority is the clan castle, and the second is the king. The reason why you get the king is because you don't want the king to be chasing around, uh, chasing your hogs around. And most of the time, he will kill like half of your hogs before they even get to uh far off to the base. And setting up a good spring, you know, setting up a good position where it's protected by the air defenses is kind of hard to uh, attack. So you always want to attack on, uh, figure out attack the clan castle and then the king, and try to kill them. So you're gonna need a bigger kill squad, especially when they're deep in the middle. And this side right here, okay. So if he attacks from this side right here. He's gonna have to have uh, lose about one or three, uh, one to three hogs because if he attacks from the hogs in this way, 
the hogs are gonna go this way and they might go a path right here and it might and some of them will go a path in here so it's best to actually see the path of where the hogs is gonna go so if he attacks from this side right here it's definitely gonna lose three hogs going this way and then before they path this way but if he attacks this way he might you might lose one or uh one or two or maybe three and by the time they get here, these are the best uh, defense for your uh, hawks because you you make you force them to use a heal spell, and the heal heal spell is the one actually making them last longer. So the double giant bomb, it's perfect. Now usually it's a good setup to have a uh, bomb tower and then a double giant bomb in a in a in the back, so all the hogs will basically just uh, get destroyed. Now they reduce the damage of the giant bomb. To the hogs and two hogs is not a, it's not enough to kill the two gi two giant bombs is not enough to kill the hogs basically. So make sure you have the correct path. Like if he attacks this way, right here. If he attacks the hogs this way and this way, I have this uh, wizard tower and I have this uh, spring trap, and this will force him to actually use a heal spell early. And then when he goes path this way. Is gonna use another hill spell on the toward like on this uh, double giant bomb. Even if it attacks this side also, it's gonna go to this uh, archer tower and then he's gonna spring right here. And then some of the hogs will go this way, get bombed, get killed by the king. And then some of them are gonna go this way. They go this way. They got these two wizard towers, and um, th pretty much they're gonna damage uh, the hogs. And they're gonna use another hill spell right here. And this is the area that where you needed the hogs to die. Because this is the area where you have all your Teslas, the cannons, and the archer towers. So that's a lot of uh, point defense. And having a good spring. I wanted to put a spring between this, but I changed my mind. Now defending against a Valkyrie, there's not much that you can do uh, with a good Valkyrie attack. But the best that you can do is set up like wall, wall partitions. And you don't have like... Uh, this one right here is actually a big no-no for a Valkyrie because they love buildings that are together and they get to destroy them uh, at the same time. So this one right here, uh, also a big no-no, but that's just a trash building. But you don't want two defenses, two defense buildings to be uh, next to each other when you're uh, trying to defend against a Valkyrie attack. It's okay to have an air defense and a storage because this is a one defense and just a, just a storage. But you do not want two defensive buildings together like this when you're defending against a Valkyrie. On this one right here, I assume that he's gonna have his skill squad go this way. And for or for me to defend against it is like I have to get it as much as possible. Um all the weak walls are in here. So if he the Valkyries go this way and you try to path towards this uh center right here, I'll have the giant bombs and all these bombs in the middle. And that's what you actually want is to have the giant bombs in the middle and the king, they don't really need to target the king because once they uh, get attracted by the king and they would kill it like right away. Unlike the hogs, the, you need to kill the king because you have to prevent the king from chasing the hogs. But attacking the Valkyrie, you don't really need to. So, and then the buildings outside, you have to make sure that if you have it, uh, the defensive building outside, make sure it's in a corner where it's protected. This sometimes with the Valkyrie makes it go around because they are in a corner, like this one right here. If there is a gap like this one right here, the Valkyrie will not go through. But when they're together like this, the Valkyrie will get attracted by this two right here and it will force him to uh, go on the side. That's why I have all these buildings right here on the side. And this one right here is for the Valkyrie to go around. I have them uh, most in the corners except for uh, this one right here because I want him to attack on this side. It's more attractable that way because the tunnel is all the way up here. Um, I'll just see what happens now at uh, uh, this war because I, we the enemies hasn't been attacking yet. They are a lot stronger than ours, but uh, they haven't been attacking. And that's it for now. If you have any question, let me know. And if you are from Mac Warriors, if you have a question, let me know. And hope you guys like the video and see you guys next time.